Hello, in this RPCS3 tutorial, I'm going to show you save states. So this works on Linux, Mac and Windows. And there's a little slight difference depending on if you're on Mac like me or on Windows and Linux like a lot of other users. I think most users will probably be on Windows, but I'll tell you there's like a little command difference. So save states is a feature I know a lot of people have been, you know, waiting for, you know, I'm not going to say the whole life, but, you know, quite a long time for you know, RP, RPCS3, and what it allows you to do is save anywhere in the game and load it up. Right now, it is very early days with the save state, so it doesn't work with all games. It is buggy, and like so, so, so I'm, I've got resistance for the man open. To save state, you press Control and S if you're on Windows or Linux. If you press Command and S if you're on Mac, other than that, it's the same. So if I, you know, like I'm, let's say I'm standing here, I'm facing the stairs, and I'm going to press Command S. Command S. Uh, okay, we got to make sure the window is selected. My bad. Command S. It pauses. For me, the game crashes. But if you look down here, save state. So basically, this means it has successfully saved it. And it is, if we go to, you find a window, go to documents, sorry. Uh, where is it stored again? Mm, I mean, it's, I'm forgetting where they store it again right now. One second. So, um, save state. Okay, so the store it in users, library cache, then your name. I mean, you use that library cache, RPCS3, save state, something you really need to know. And this particular one's 300 meg, so that's one of the issues. They can range between 15 meg and up to 2, 3 gigabytes. Obviously, it depends on how frequently you are saving. It also depends on, you know, how much you need to save. Because the way save states work, it basically dumps the memory, you know, the RAM. And the re one of the main reasons older console emulators got save states quite a long time ago is because dumping that ram was probably a few megabytes at best per save state so you could have hundreds of them over you know like 10 20 or 100 games and it wouldn't really be that big of a deal as you can see if we're going at let's say 300 meg a gigabyte per game per save state possibly you could easily run out of space so that's just something to bear in mind to load it back up you right click and you know you can go here boot save state out you just select the file there but you, if you just right click the game this is the best way boot with save state this will boot you back up it might take a bit of time if there's some extra you know cache or modules that needs to be done you know as is the case for me but once it loads everything up you'll boot back into where we left off and that will be facing the stairs there we go and we can you know play it as normal I'm going to quit out of this now because that's basically it. But one other thing I want to show you is how to get better compatibility. If you go to, 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 to geez, click yes on that. If you go to GPU, if you enable right color buffers and in the uh, do, 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 uh, where's the force CPU emulation? Yeah, for some reason it's not on no, I tried it on Windows for CPU emulation that's weird okay we'll ignore that and uh, for some reason the debug tab isn't on the Mac from what I can see so in GPU if you enable right color buffers and like on windows if you go to the debug tab and enable for cpu emulation the reason i haven't done it is because even though it can improve compatibility with save states it can reduce performance so only do that if you're having some issues with save states that could potentially help depending on what sort of you know spec computer you have because you might be able to take the knock in performance or you might not so it's basically you've got to weigh up how important are save states to you but, you know, really useful feature. Glad they've added it. I'll be creating a separate video covering how to do save states on RPCS3 on your Steam Deck. Because I know that's a 
feature or a video that's been requested by a lot of users so i'll be doing that very soon thanks for watching if you liked the video give it a thumbs up hit that subscribe button and i'll see you soon bye bye